TJ Sikama doing what he does best, which is dotting that fastball. And the second straight strikeout looking for big number 17. <sighs> well, that is a nasty pitch. The inning is over. Sikama finds it, the throw. He can field his position too, folks. Look at this location on the outside corner. That's perfect. 2-2. Two, two. What are you going to do with that? Not much. Sikama dialed it up, blew it by him. When he pitches in big games, it makes him better. He is strong, nasty, a throwback. But three years ago, one of the SEC's most dominant arms was an under-the-radar, under-recruited, unknown. Tucked away in a 5,000-person town in eastern Iowa called DeWitt. Not a place known for its pitching until T.J. Sikama came along. No one has, uh, has been going D1 uh, out, of, out of DeWitt in a, in a while. I just came down to a camp. I mean, it was, I think, my freshman or sophomore year in, in high school. And my dad was just, hey, you want to... Want to go to this Missouri baseball camp? They sent us a letter, and I was like, "Well, yeah." I, I'd, I'd like to say I'm just—I was just another guy who's coming coming to a camp, uh, uh, working hard, just doing what I could, and, and it all worked out pretty well. Sikama was never just another guy. After three seasons of his no-nonsense style, TJ has even drawn comparisons to the greatest former Tiger pitcher ever, three-time Cy Young Award winner Max Scherzer. A little bit for his stuff, a lot for his demeanor. Just, just the mentality. I mean, if you just watch them, the, you know how they carry themselves, and there's, there's just a belief and a confidence. That's always been something that has been, uh, been a really big part of me. Is I'm, I'm very competitive. I don't like to lose. I want to succeed at everything I do. Got him looking. Came back to the inside corner. He puts the hitters on the defensive right away. He throws so many strikes. I'll be standing on the mound before the guy even gets in the box, and I'm, I'm focused on that glove, and I'm focused on, on throwing it by him and getting out. And now I'm in that zone, and I, I mean, talk about the flow of the game. It's just I'm so fully invested in, in what's going on that nothing around matters, and it's it's I'm focused on every pitch, one pitch at a time. You can tell me I have 10 strikeouts after the game, and I would have no idea. I mean, I'm I'm just going batter by batter, punching tickets one by one, inning by inning. Year by year, Sikama has been a household name in the Southeastern Conference. He burst onto the scene as a freshman in a variety of roles, starter, reliever, and stopper, excelling to some degree because he learned on the job. Just being that guy who, who didn't, I didn't really know better, know any better. I mean, like I was out there uh, just competing with, with what I had and, and that was all. The things that I experienced my first couple years here were, were like I said, all new stuff. And so it was, it was it's really fun to, uh, to look back on it now and uh, and just keep keep getting better every day. Better like this. Top five in the SEC in innings pitched and strikeouts. Owner of the league's lowest ERA as a junior. A competitor who's got professional baseball written all over him. Um, I mean, yeah, I think about it, but at the same time, I try to try to just go out there and do my best every time. I try to play for the guys behind me, the, the guys who are doing those grueling workouts at 5.30 in the morning right next to me. And now we're seeing the swing and miss stuff. Using that information that I've learned through the years, um, uh, using all those four pitches, and then my, my competitiveness is something that's never left me, and that's something I can always fall back on. But behind all the plays, the punch outs, the pro ball projections, is the same kid from that small town in Iowa. Just another guy he called himself, just another guy who's grateful for his chance. I mean, I'm from a small town. There's, there's not, there's not much uh, luxury around where, where I came from. So, like, I don't throw my bullpens in a huge facility like a lot of guys. I throw my bullpens in a shed with two cages that that's barely 70 feet. So, um, I, I've, I've worked hard to, to get where I am, and it's kind of a, it's kind of just. It's amazing for me to be able to have the opportunity and I, I try to just keep that outlook of I, I get to do things instead of have to do things.